Hello, mixers. If you're like me, keeping flavor notes can be somewhat cumbersome. You know, we're all busy. We all have a life. So in this series, I test the flavors. That way you will have more information. So when you're online ordering all your flavors, you'll have more information. And that way you can make a more educated decision. So let's get right into it. What's going on everybody? I am John from JFM Development. Thank you so very much for clicking on my video. On this channel, we are all about helping out the community, helping out with flavor notes, helping out with mixing, just so you can get more information. So when it comes time to say purchasing a flavor, uh, you know exactly what you wanna buy. Also, if there's any question like the bottles I use, the hand mixer, anything like that, of course, always the links will be in the description down below. Today we are flavor testing Flavora Strawberry Filling. Now I want to flavor test uh, Flavora Strawberry Filling because in the previous video I just flavor tested Flavora Strawberry Smash. So I figured I'd give you the options and see if there's a big difference between Flavora Strawberry Filling and uh, Flavora Strawberry Smash. So today I am flavor testing Flavora Strawberry Filling. Now, I already did the mixing up. I figured it was kind of redundant keeping it in my videos. Now, if you think you want a small clip of me making these flavor testers in the videos, just leave it in the comments down below. I just want to gauge what my viewers want and what they like. Uh, but for today, I filled it up in a 1% solution because Flavora flavors tend to be on the really strong side. So, I like to start off at 1%. Sometimes there are flavors such as Flavora Blueberry Muffin or Flavora Berry Blend, which you need to kind of raise the percentage because they are a little bit weaker than others. But the strawberries that Flavora makes tend to be very potent and very strong compared to other flavor carriers. So first, let's try this on my hand. I'm just going to shake it up real quick. And this is Flavora Strawberry Filling. All right. Try it a little bit. Oh god. Ugh, it's another very strong one. I don't know I don't know if I should keep doing this with flavor or flavors. Yeah. See, because it's so concentrated. Hold on one second. Because it's so concentrated with flavor or flavors. They tend to taste very chemically because there's not enough saliva or whatever in your mouth to compensate for just how concentrated it is. So it comes out chemically. That's why flavors such as this and the flavors that kind of burn when you put them in your mouth, if you decide to taste them over your hand, if it does that, usually it means you should really mix them up at a flavor tester at a lower percentage. So this one is no different. What I am getting though, what I can taste is kind of like a... Again, a candied strawberry with sugar. Uh, it's kind of hard to taste this way, so we're probably just going to have to vape on it. The smell kind of gives me a... Uh, gives me the same. It gives me like a, a candied strawberry with sugar on it. So that's not really going to tell us much. So I'm going to clear my palate. I know, today it's just the regular Red Bull, no Red Bull Red. The store I went to didn't have it. Again, that has nothing to do with this video, though. So, now it's time to drip it on the atomizer. A 1% solution. Now, this has a couple days on it. I didn't just mix it up because I mixed a couple of these testers beforehand. So, I had them. But I will revisit all these flavors in a week's time, so a week down the road. When I'm making a flavor test on another one, I'll add this one in too. So you're going to want to make sure you keep up to date with my flavor note videos. So you know how and if these flavors change within time. Alright, so I'm just going to drip this on real quick. And I'll probably speed this process up. Leave it to me to over drip. Okay, here we go guys. Here we go. Alright. Flavor strawberry filling. Cheers. Wow. 
I think I know a great use for this. Okay, so first let me say this about strawberry filling. Strawberry filling, it's a little bit different than strawberry smash. Strawberry smash from Flavor kind of had this, uh, kind of tastes like strawberry candy, a strawberry shell. Now this one tastes... This one tastes like strawberries and a little bit sugary, but it's it's not like a strawberry shell. This is more like a jam. It tastes like a strawberry jam. It tastes jammy. Oh, wow. That is good. It doesn't taste like on the ripe end at all. It kind of tastes like a strawberry and sugar jam. Uh... I think this particular strawberry would probably go good in my Jam Monster Remix clone, which I think I'm going to add this in. Because it really does have that strawberry jammy type flavor to it. It is. It does say it's a strawberry filling, so yeah, I, I can kind of get it from that. Now what would this pair well with? It would pair well with other strawberries. Now, would this go good as a single flavor strawberry? Uh... I don't think so. I think this flavor you're going to want to use in conjunction with other flavors, so I wouldn't really say it's a standalone. I mean, you you could use it as a standalone, but it's, it's probably not going to come out the way you want. This would pair well with other strawberries. Uh, I would probably... I think I want to pair this with uh, Flav, Flavor Art uh, Red Touch Strawberry. I think that would go good with this. Uh, I'm going to mess around with it a little bit. I want to try it in my Jam Monster clone. Um, so, yeah, I would say this is definitely a flavor that you want to pair with others. Um, oh, let me try it again. Yeah, also for the mixing percentage, believe it or not, uh... If you're using this in a mix with other strawberries, I would probably keep it at 1%. That seems like a good mix percentage for this. Now, if you are mixing this by itself or you want this to be a dominant flavor, I'd maybe bring it up to 1.5 to 2% on the really high end. Uh, this isn't as strong as Strawberry Smash by itself. Yeah, so I think you could bump up the percentage. I wouldn't bump it up too high. I would go between uh, 1.5 and 2% tops. Again, this would go good with uh, other strawberries. I don't think it's really a good standalone. And how would I rate it if I could rate it? I'll give it a two thumbs up, and I'm going to tell you why. Now, it's not the best strawberry in the world. Like I'm not going to say this is strawberry ripe material or sweet strawberry material, but if you have a purpose for strawberry filling, like you're trying to get strawberry jam, this may bring you there, and I'm definitely going to test that in my Jam Monster recipe. I'll probably release a revision video letting you guys know how I did with that. Um, Let's see. Is there anything else? Uh... Again, it's it's not really a, a real strawberry. It's a jammy strawberry. Uh, it, it's not ripe. It doesn't taste like like organic. It, it tastes like it's uh, on the sweeter end of a jam strawberry. So, yeah, I think that's about it. So, guys, thank you so very much for watching. I hope you really enjoyed the content. Please like and subscribe. Also, in the links down below... There has all the stuff I use in my videos. There is scales, VG, PG, stuff to make coils. Everything you need for v DIY mixing, links will be in the descriptions. Those are affiliate links, but what those do is those help the channel so I can afford to get flavors and do everything I need to do to bring excellent content to you, give you excellent flavor notes, and all that great stuff. So any help does help me and it'll go right back into the channel. So again, thank you guys so much for watching. If you're new here, hit that subscribe button. We're doing big things here at JFM Development and I would love for you to be a part of it. And one last thing, if you're not following me on social media, I am JFM Development on Facebook and Instagram. And yeah, that about wraps it up. Thank you guys so very much for watching. You have guys have a great day. Peace.
So you guys like this video. That's awesome. I have some more great videos right up here. Maybe you should click on one and check it out. Well, why are you guys still sitting here? Click on a video. There's some more stuff on making DIY e-liquid. There's perhaps another playlist or my most recent video. Check that out. Thank you guys so much. You guys are the best. Peace.